Alright, hi everybody, it's Bonkai922. Here to bring you another late review, but it really wasn't that late. It came out on Friday. Um, of um my romantic comedy as wrong as I expected. This was um Episode 7. Um this one was called Getting No Rest, even though it's summer break, just isn't right. Uh, the actual episode was named, it was named something else, but this is episode 7. Now, basically what happened in this episode, uh, which is pretty funny, I, I'm probably going to give this a 4 out of 5. This was this is kind of an interesting one. Um, Hachi Man, Iki, he's basically home with his sister, and he's not doing anything. And he gets this message from his, this, this teacher is like a stalker. Man, this teacher is fucking crazy. I don't understand what she's trying to do by helping him and everything, but man, she's like, respond back, please, immediately, like, because she wants him to do stuff, I guess, during the summer vacation as well, because it's summer vacation, and he's just like, he's like, oh, what, he's just, he doesn't understand, he's, he's great, he doesn't understand why she's, you know, all this messages and everything, <gasps> and then he finds out from his sister wants him, wants him to take her to Chibi, which I'm guessing is a store, or it was supposed to be some kind of place that she wants to go to buy stuff and everything, and because she wants a reward, so he decides to do it, and he goes with her, and he she notices he notices she's picking these bags, and he goes with her, and who does she see? The teacher! I'm like, yo, what? I'm glad we find out it was a scam! <laughs> scam. Fucking stupid bitch. That teacher, man, she's a fucking bitch. Um, and basically what's going on here is just as the, the title, I read the title to you. He basically has to... Well, it's not, it's for his, the club, the volunteer club. This is like training for them. For the volunteer club, and pretty much what it is is they go into this um this village with these kids who they're going to sort of help, you know. And and surprisingly enough, all along with them is those popular kids, you know, Ayama, Ayato, him and his friend, other friends there, popular kids. Sorry, just one second outside. Uh, and they're all gonna go there and basically help these kids with this you know, thing that they're doing. This camp. This, like, summer camp thing. And pretty much that's what ends on happening. And and he already sees, Hachiman already sees this one kid who's by herself, isn't with the popular elementary school kids. And it's not elementary school kids. And I believe her name is R Rumi. And later on you find out that she's, you know, like Hachiman. Well, not like Hachiman, like Yui. So... Um, and pretty much the episode is just them doing this this hunt, this going to the checkpoints and helping these kids out. It's volunteer work. And eventually what happens is there's this part where, um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, there's this part where, um, they're cooking uh, curry and y y y Yamama, I mean Ayato, He's trying to help her, but it's, like, not working at all. It is total fail. She doesn't want to do the curry cooking, and she just walks away. And then that's when we have a conversation between her. Her name's Rumi. Rumi. Um, Hachiman and Yukino. And then she's talking to, her, he, to them about, oh, and Yui shows up. And she says to Yui, oh, these two are like me. Isolated you know, alone, kind of, and, you know, that's when you get to begin to see that this girl is like them, so to speak, and after the dinner with the curry, um, when they're making curry and they ate it, uh, there's a conversation between the professor, the teacher, that teach that bitch teacher, and everyone else, and the thing that was so stupid in this episode was the popular kids, like, um, Ayato, and, um, 
Ayato and the other the other kids because they were kind of like out of their element. Ayama, yeah, Ayama and the others. They were out of their element. They were pretty much being douchebags. Well, not douchebags, but you know, they 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 think they had the answers and and they're like they don't. And Yukino was being very cold to them. And it was almost like a kind of a fight brewing. But what was realized from this conversation they were having was that Yui felt that this girl who was isolated and by herself reminded her of herself. And that sort of plays into part in the episode. Then the rest of the episode, they just go to bed. <laughs> this one scene, oh my god. Don't fall for the trap. Well, then I forgot to mention this, this one scene when he found out the girl, you know, the, the trap character. Or the dentist. I was like, no. And he was, he was like, looking at her as he's sleeping. And he's like, he couldn't stand it. It's like so bad. It's a guy. <sighs> it was so weird. But then after that, he wakes up and he goes outside. And he sees Yukino humming a song. And there's a conversation they're having about this girl and how, you know, he began to eat the little interesting facts come out about Yukino where she's saying how, you know, her and Hayama basically know each other quite well because his father works, is one of the administrators at her father, at Yukino's father's company. And, he, and she goes into details about her sister and stuff to to Hachiman. And nothing really comes of it. And then the last scene we see of this episode is we see that girl Rumi near the near a near lake. And that's where it ends. So overall this episode brought up a few facts with not within the volunteer club, the other people that were with them. How cold they were how stupid they were being with their their sly comments think they know what they need to do with this girl and they didn't I like that I liked how that was like a confrontation kind of thing and it this was this was kind of like a weird episode because this is right after the whole thing with Yui and Achiman so now it comes full circle that we get to see more about Yukino in this episode and Yui than anything else and this is that teacher, man. She's a bitch. I'm like, she wants him to go at summer vacation to do this shit. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> it's like, come on. He, he doesn't want to do it. He has to be forced to do it. But I, I get the gist. I understand. I, no, no, no bad blood with the teacher because I understand what she's trying to do for him. So it wasn't that kind of a thing, you know? It wasn't that big a deal of a thing. So, yeah. But overall, good episode. Four out of five. I liked what happened in this episode. I liked the exposure with what was going on. Now, we'll see what happens next week. It's probably going to be a conclusion with what happened in this week's. With this girl, Rumi. I guess they're going to try to help her somehow. Um, and I should let everyone know... That this Tuesday, and this is the, the only thing I want to say before ending this review, I get off too much topic here, get off too, too much of the topic, but this Tuesday I'm going to have an announcement in my live stream about a contest that is going to take place. I will let everyone know the logistics of that on Tuesday during that live stream. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. It was a good episode. I like what happened. I mean... It was really, I felt like this episode was really focusing on Yukino and Yui. And how they kind of clash with these popular kids. Like, you know? And how, you know, you could see the difference between those popular kids and Achiman and Yukino. You see the difference very clear. So, I found that very interesting how what that brought. So yeah, this is Bankai 922. I'll see you guys later. Next review, the episode, I'll see what happens. 
It's probably going to be crazy. It's probably going to be crazy. We'll see. See ya.